What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I'm a top player in Risk Global Domination, the daily release on YouTube. I'm doing weekday streams on Twitch, and if you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channels and come along the ride with me. Ladies and gentlemen, Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. Oh, someone, someone bought it after, uh, after I kicked their buddy, eh? Interesting. Spicy, folks. Spicy. All right. I am blue in the fifth seat. I bought before me, bought after me. That could be good. Blue in the fifth seat. Take the new pocket easy. Three cap on London. I think we do that. I have a better cap choice for being in the fifth seat. No. Okay. Black chooses a garbage cap and a rock. You rock and you roll. Uh, red. Yeah. Red chooses Gascony. We like, we like Gascony for red. Magenta. Yeah. I think I play noob corner here. Someone's behind me. I still have two shots at stealing a bot cap find out yellow okay so as long as yellow doesn't pick off that too if yellow goes the other way i can snag that one as well we see four of the six capitals we don't see uh the the purple bot capital and we don't see magenta no real hard chokes at this map at all except for sardinia okay black's working on orient cool fine by me Spend a lot of troops. They return to their cap with seven is not bad. Red yet six. Red takes Spain. Turn My two here survives as long as the yellow butt doesn't hit it. And it hopefully gives me a line. Take the yellow capital. Yes, red is in the pocket. Red finishes Spain. Turn one. Cool. Okay, where do we go? Fossil Magenta's in the noob corner. Also would love, love, love to find the purple cap. Let's see how London do. I have a line for the Germany bonus. It's pretty wacky. Might be a fun line, actually. Cut it, cut in off the two, cut over off the two. Do we get any insight into Magenta's position? I don't think we see anything, right? The black player in the first seat. Ooh. It's Scotty Yo, 2455 from USA in the second seat. The red player is Grady Hirose from Poland. In the third seat is the magenta player, Johnny G86 from the United Kingdom. We have a purple bot in the fourth seat. I'm in the fifth seat playing as blue. And in the ultimate seat, we have a yellow bot. So we have two active bots in this game. There was a four stack in Netherlands. Okay, who's over? I do still have somewhat of a line for Germany. Uh, I think it's smarter to take Noob Corner. At least see what's back there in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, Magenta Cap. Cool. All right, so we've learned. I've yet been out and noobed again, folks. We got an Iceland gamer. <laughs> Jen has got that Iceland on lock. They should be proud of themselves. Ah, uh, yeah. And that went badly for me, too. All right. Well, folks, <laughs> it's an uphill battle this game. Oh, baby. Yellow. Okay. Yellow has that bonus. It's nothing on their capital. Can I spend my whole turn walking this way to take the yellow cap? Probably not, because black is going to smack it. He likes to smack. Gishmack, gishmack, get time. And black takes. Orient turn two. Off of this line. 
Cool. And Red Hat Spain. New Quarter, always a risky proposition. When some even larger noob out noobs you with that fucking epic Iceland hold. Look at that, folks. What a capital. That cap guards a plus two, folks. Oh, my goodness gracious. You snap take that, don't you, if you're Magenta? So we got Iceland plus two, British Empire plus three, Scandinavia plus three, Russia is plus seven, Eastern Europe plus eight, Orient plus six, North Africa plus three, West Africa plus six, South Western Europe, Western Europe, Southern Europe, to Narc Alps, and Southeastern Europe, each worth plus four. And finally, Central Europe is plus five, if you can hold it. Okay, so. Ugh. Red, work on a second position? Yeah, Magenta has. There's something behind them. Is there bot capital behind them? Yeah, Magenta's the Netherlands. They want to see. Okay, Magenta just has a random sack. Of Netherlands, I think they suck. High confidence Magenta's not very good. So, does the bot hold their bonus? No. Someone took the bot's capital now. Oh, the bot's capital is here. That's where, ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. That's where the Pearl Bot's capital is. Cool. How many troops does Magenta have on it? Yeah, let's fucking take that shit. Let's fucking take that shit for sure. That's why he did that. Maybe it runs down off the 11. We don't know. Probably dumb. Probably downgraded the London cap to a Netherlands cap. <laughs> this whole game is fucked. <sighs> okay, so Yellowbot holds a bonus, right? Yeah. Yellowbot keeps their cap and a bonus. Yellow's going to give trouble to hopefully black and... Uh, red at some point. Red's coming this way. Black's coming this way. I'm already pretty much at war with Magenta. If Magenta rolls down, they win my capital. Question there becomes. How punishing is the roll? How much do they dedicate to the roll? Do they have Iceland yet? I don't think they do. I think they've actually capped and not even taken Iceland. So, Yep. Red getting 11. I should have read that purple was in Germany. Should have read that. It's a lot of troops aggregated around those two caps. I could potentially reinforce in. If Magenta gets five, so that's 16 rolling down, hits the four, probably gets a good roll. I should have split five and five, I think. Would have been smarter than four and six. But there's a world where Magenta doesn't open me. No, they know my cap's there. They're, but they're such a noob for capping in Scotland. We, it's tough to say. Still haven't cleaned out behind them, so maybe they do that now? Or do we see it go down 15 before? Yes. Yes, 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 folks. Two capitals. <laughs> All right. Uh, Probobot has Dinaric Alps. Yeah, and that rolls. Yeah, and that rolls what? Ugh. Two caps, but they're in the same place. It's my two. Okay, reasonable roll. Okay. Do I care? Do I care about purple being strong? 
don't think I do. Okay, we have a 9 and 8 cap. This is a better situation. And yellow bot still holds. No. Yellow got broken by black, we think. Maybe uh, red did it. Do we see red have a massive turn, perhaps? Yeah, if red just dedicated all of their forces into taking the... Yeah, it wasn't black. It was red. Red has the yellow cap. Yellow is fucked and broken. Black sets gets the four. Ooh. Ooh, Black's desperate to try and take Orient. Maybe they're getting plus seven because they have the capital. I'm not sure who got what. You moving across the bottom? Maybe it was Black? Yeah, Red gets 21. Oh, God. So that's one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus six. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they have all of North Africa here. Now they venture up to take a peak of Reno. No! Great! Stay at the bottom. A butt black. Get into a war with black. He sets here. He's going to try and punch through that capital? At least we keep black a little weak, perhaps. Yeah, Magenta's still off bonus. They guarded the Iceland bonus, but they didn't take it. Interesting. And we go down off the 21, or we go into Iceland? We go down. All right, 20 v 9, lose big. Ah, he doesn't. He just opens. Cool. All right, happy with that. He locks off his cap. Leaves a three. Okay, probably getting 17 sets. Gets the eight. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm going to be locked in a pocket pretty soon by a massive amount of bot material. Yeah, Pearl Bot enormous. Does everyone have cards but me? Yeah. Everyone has set on three. A bunch of sets on three. Even does not have a set on three. Prioritize keeping London. Maybe yellow. Very possible this is one of yellow's final remaining territories. I want to get cards in Russia here. No one's yet in Russia. Yeah, I think that might be yellow's last territory. Goes down to break purple. Okay, purple bot might actually kill yellow bot. So black and red are in a war here. Black does not have Orient. So red is red, red, red. Magenta, we actually don't know who's back behind Magenta, so they might hold a kill guard. Purple bot is enormous in the middle. Black's still trying. Fighting, hoping, praying. Fighting. Let's get to a Q&A question, shall we? Alonzo Krishnan. Hey, can anyone direct me to a place where I can find the answer to this long question? It's not so much a long question as it is a series of little questions. I have no idea how FFA points work or how win-loss numbers are calculated. If I'm an intermediate, this, this information is available on SMG's website. They have forums that explain all. Um, if I'm an intermediate and I'm in a game with four experts and a beginner, and the beginner wins and I come second, how does that affect my ranking points? Consider the way they do ELO is... Everyone against everyone in a series of 1v1. So um, you would have beat all of, the, it, uh, all of the experts in that game, but lost to a beginner. So you would get whatever ELO that series of 1v1s would equal. What is a loss? Is it not winning? Yes. Does it depend on when you get killed? It's worse to go out sixth than it is to go out second. Who you kill or who kills you, it doesn't matter who kills you. It matters how you place. 
Uh, how many troops or territories do you have in the game finishes? That matters in modes where you can tie like 70 in caps. Uh, is the simple is the answer simpler? Convoluted? Clearly, I'm having as much trouble answering your question as you had asking it, so I would say convoluted. If I, I often played against second place, so I haven't, if I have no chance of winning, um, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, if, if you've concluded that you for sure have no chance of winning, then playing for second can be your only choice. All right. Uh, thank you for any insight into this question. You're welcome. We'll throw down one more. So we had a question from Drex. Hey, folks, I am consistently a master, but there's a singular problem I keep having. It's driving me insane because it's causing me losses. For some context, I play mostly progressive capitals. And later in the game, when the troop count gets into the 1K, I struggle with troop fortification and transfer. Ah, you need a scroll wheel on your mouse, sir. Uh, do we try to go for the yellow kill? Ooh, I don't actually know if that's the move. <sighs> See, I'm confident that that's all of yellow, but not sure. And the fact that I'm not sure means I don't really want to dedicate the troops off capital. So. Yeah, let's just knock out fucking Magenta from this pocket entirely. I don't want Magenta to be able to get easy cards, so if they have to hit like a... A purple 10 or something, that'd be great. Um, when the troop count gets into the 1k plus domain, I struggle with true fortification and transfer. My current fastest method is to click and drag repeatedly. I think this is yellow's last position. Um, click and drag, click and drag. Yeah, a lot of people do that. It's still far slower than I see people managing consistently. The arrow keys go super slow for me. Is there something I'm missing? Yes. Need a mouse with a scroll lock. Scroll lock off. The wheel spins freely. Scroll lock on. You guys can hear it. See the difference? Um, that's how I split. That's how I split so quickly, and I can get about 2,500 troops in a turn. A lot of people use the drag and throw method. They can do fairly well. A lot of people also, like, you, you sometimes see Spud putting hidden thousand stacks in different places and then fortifying them all in one pop as a surprise. The downside is, it forces you to keep some amount of troops off capital. The upside is very obvious that... Um, Saves you all that time in turn to to execute other plays. Um, the arrow keeps super slow. Is there something I'm missing? I've Googled for answers, but come up so short. Thank you, and apologies if this is a repeat question. No, we don't get this one a ton. But in longer games, this has caused me to lose doing not do do not being able to transfer troops within the time limit at all. Like I literally cannot transfer more than about two k troops in sixty seconds. I see others splitting 8k stacks in 10 seconds flat. Well, some people are using macros, which is technically cheating, I'm pretty sure, but um, I don't do that. Um, you know, it would be great if there was some way to just input numbers, right? Type in the certain number of troops you would like to fortify and just do them in one pop. But you know what? Trying to hold your breath waiting for improvements in that regard might leave you asphyxiated. So uh, thank you for your question, Drex. And... Uh, I think it was a good one. So I hope we added some value for the audience. With that, Magenta sets, gets the 10. Ball. Magenta's on the 12 trade. They at least have Iceland now, but they might be fucking card blocked if that's their final position. If they hit a purple 10, I'll see that. I'll see that they have to hit a purple 10 if that's their final. No, they're elsewhere. They're in some. They're somewhere else at least. All right, I think I kill yellow here. Yeah, purple's fourteen. Go for the yellow kill. What is red getting a turn twenty four? Okay, so magenta's not card blocked. Pretty sure there's nobody behind them now. Pretty sure I can take the yellow kill. I think it's worth risking at this point. We we won't trade from this, notably, so. Failing this would be quite bad. He 
yellow. My purple stack is good. Do snag the kill. No real point in breaking purple here, but might have a shot at getting some of these troops to capital. Not really. Two of the whole stack makes it to capital. We eviscerate the purple position though, which is nice. And we're sitting on five cards with a 19 and 11 cap. Good, good lines on the purple. I'm the only person out there in the top of this board. Isn't that awesome? Where do you think Magenta's second position is? Here? Black Star Whip. Six troops. So, yeah, Magenta must be down here as well. In Orion, fucking around with black. Okay. Well, I have eyes on all of Purple's positions. Purple's on three cards, but they're two distributed for me to kill. Red lets me hold a lot of territory. Which they shouldn't do. No, they're just, they're holding strong on Gascony so they can work on the bottom of the board. This is good for me. Because at some point, the exterior of Magenta gets removed and I get the Magenta kill fed to me, I think. Does purple hold any bonuses? Okay, red spends all their time in draft, so they're guarding heavily. Heavy garter. I get a single card somewhere. Off of their cap, so they close their cap line in that direction. They stay friendly to me. Spicy. All right, and Magenta's still getting seven a turn. Has Magenta been removed from the pocket? Okay, that they're up there. Makes sense. Yeah, so I'm going to open that 11 cap. And I'm going to knock them out of that pocket. That's their final position. Oh, sweet. They're going to hit a purple four. Love that. Sweet. Okay, cool. <laughs> and they win a 3v2. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got a punch monkey here, folks. <laughs> we got an aggressive punch monkey. Fucking capping in Scotland and shit. I'm going to force you to hit a purple 10, sir. I'm going to force you to hit a purple 10. We love that. Can I kill purple now? No. I don't think it's right to do anything yet. Now I'm pretty sure they're locked in the pocket behind my capital. <laughs> and the purple 13. If they hit a purple 13, that feeds me the purple kill. Unless purple sets on four, which they probably do. Black has nothing. Still nothing. Surprised red hasn't killed them. Set? Yes. Having a set here. And black takes Russia. Wow. That is aggressive. Black's like, please let me have a bonus. <laughs> please. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen. All right, this this game is going to end soon, I think. So in order for Magenta to get a card, they have to hit a 13 off their cap, which shows me how big their cap is. I can set and probably kill them if they don't set. Pretty sure that's their last position. Red has 23 again. Red notably isn't expanding into black. They're showing remarkable restraint. They're just guarding on both capitals with a massive amount of troops.
I figure this stack down here is enormous. Closes this cap line rather than op opening mine. Right. That's where he's getting his cards. And for whatever reason, black is still off orient. All right. Does magenta set? No set. No set. They do. They take the 25. Purple loses a 13 stack. Yes, they do. 50 for magenta. Yes. Magenta takes orient. They roll that capital, they're gonna lose all their troops. No, we're gonna take Scandi. I didn't say Orient, Scandinavia. Words, what do they mean? Puts down, yep. Yeah. Okay, 29 v 19. Now the purple kill is viable. If purple doesn't set, I have a, I have a fucking great purple kill. Perfect, goes back to capital. All right, gets 12. Sets, too bad. Red's on five cards. I'm on three. I have a trade. I think I trade. I trade. I have a huge purple bot in the middle of the board. Opens my capital. All right. So I need to win the war with magenta. Nobody else can see. I think I'll hold off a trade. I think I'll hold off a trade. Fuck. All right. We try for the magenta kill next turn, which would trigger a trade. Is black and red both set here? I am at risk of death. Sets are 35, so I'll get the 40. Ah, might not get magenta. Okay, black takes the 35. Red gets the 40, I get the 45. That's going into red, right? We're going to see red finally start with something less than 20 troops. It didn't hit him hard enough. I think red wins this game. Might be too late. Red could still fuck up. Closes cap in, off the uh, the Brittany line as well. That's your card. If your card is Brittany. Yeah, realize that they have the 40. That's why they're not pushing, because they're new. They might be fucking up black shit now. We see that leader number change to three. Yeah, black's off capital. We kill black. Doesn't trigger a set. Jenna gets 10 for holding Scandi. Do they see that they have the black kill? No, because they're also a noob. Do we see them rolling around the top of the map? No. Okay, we kill black. Purple, 17. Holy fucking shit. Unfortunately, killing black here versus killing magenta <clears throat> doesn't earn me another capital. Neither of them set me in. The black kill is definitely the easier kill to take. Pretty much fed it by red. Yeah. 
saw that a mile away, folks. And I'm just connecting the line with this so I can get these troops to a capital. All right, now I'm in the middle of the board between my two opponents, red and magenta. Red has three capitals. I have two, magenta has the other one. Uh, but red is bad and slow. Starts with 26. I mean, what I need to have happen is I need this guy to feed me the purple kill. Maybe purple doesn't set? I can set kill purple set here. That's a line of play. Maybe magenta interrupts those because I'm going to get sandwiched between both of these guys, right? I'm going to lose my board position. Red's going to punch only me for a while, and I knew that when I killed black. And both of these kills I've been making didn't set me in, which is the problem, right? And it's not, it's just a turn order problem. I still had them. I still had very high likelihood on them, but um, maybe this encourages Magenta to hit, hit them, but they probably don't. Magenta's kind of like my mortal enemy here. I'm not setting though. They're setting four cards. I wonder how much they have on their cap. Can I get the magenta kill? That's 50. Whew. Ooh, open my cap. Open my cap. One more, one more, one more in Germany. One more in Germany. Please, 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 please open the Netherlands cap. Okay, too bad. And purple does what? Maybe I kill, uh, maybe I kill magenta here. Well, Sets gets the 50. Okay, I'm going to get the 55. Open the Netherlands cap so I can run around. Open the Netherlands cap. Open the Netherlands cap. 18, hit one. One over, one over, one over, one over. One over. One over. He's not going to do it. He's not going to. I mean, <laughs> doesn't hurt to check, right? Oh, it's a joke. Yeah, that's not a possible rule, guys. Would not have the material to finish the kill. Red is snowballing. I still might get fed the magenta kill, or the uh, purple kill. Red has everything south of the Mediterranean. All of this, if all of this, red has a capital, a capital, a capital. Which way they go? I didn't. There's no point in retaking anything that touches red because red's just gonna slowly punch the shit out of me because he's so many more troops. So I'd be happy to go into one villain with red. No set on three, but I need cards and I need to. Uh, Deal with the fact that Magenta is still fucking behind me. <laughs> it ain't garbage Scotland capital that guards absolutely nothing. Okay, Red's working on the middle of the board here now. This is Purple's territory. Red is here. That's the saving grace. Red is uh, massive, but they're very, very slow. I get the red kill or the purple kill and set. That Netherlands cap is fucking garbage. <laughs> okay. Does Magenta trade? Doesn't matter. I can't kill them. They don't trade. Magenta sits on five cards. They don't open my capital. Cool. Okay. I'm kind of guarded by a lot of bot material. Yeah. <laughs> I can't really make a play until my next trade.
got 36 to turn. Okay, the trade 65. Whatever red seems to be hitting, it's not me. They have so much, though. It'd be very hard, I think, to beat red. Size-wise, it's not going to be hard to beat them. Skill-wise, they move so fucking slowly. Or maybe he just uh, doesn't get a card. <laughs> Don't disconnect when you're winning the game. Yeah, he gets a card. This guy's banked a shitload of troops. If I had a set there, I could have killed Magenta. Dude, these guys are playing at a fucking snail's pace. He doesn't even realize there's a set. Magenta's going to miss a card. This a bot out? Because if I'm in a 1v1 with two bots and everyone's bigger than me, I'm in big fucking trouble. Yeah, this is a bot out. Foo. And we're going to need to see some bot-on-bot -bot crime. So I want that 65 to walk down and then I actually roll off and go to the Netherlands and then I walk around. You can believe it. This is my play. Steel Magenta's original Scotland cap. Might have been smarter to just open the line this way, but then it still walks south and then I'm fucked. Red playing. Okay, red's still playing. Hmm. Red's massive. I mean, I can't worry about that until I address. Uh. We kill purple? Maybe we kill purple. For a trade. Not good, though. Like, the trade's only 70. Purple kill is fucking expensive. Watch purple fucking set on three. Does walk down. Yes, with the full stack. Good. So now I can roll all the way down into the pocket. Come around. Expensive. I have to hit like 30 something trips. Don't don't fortify. Oh, I hope that's not on capital. Is it on capital? Let's see. Where it went to. And purple bot doesn't set. 22 troops though. Yeah, I can't kill purple. Oh, that sucks. Well, let's figure out which way it went.
It went back to its capital. Okay. We must wait. I'm in a 1v1, but this is the weirdest 1v1 you've ever seen. Red is enormous and slow as molasses. Purple's a bot. Magenta's a bot. And I have a garbage ancillary Netherlands cap that I don't really want. Now what's red taking? At some point, red's going to feed me the purple kill, right? Genta's back. He fortified back because he returned the game. Now I see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at a player who bought it and returned. Uh-huh. Get a card. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh-huh. Get a card, fucko. All right. Now I understand what I'm seeing. I have to beat an 83 cap. That's going to be fucking challenging. Does purple roll the red cap? I just said I'd kill Magenta. God. What is Magenta even? It does hit the red capital. Interesting. Very interesting. See red move down or uh, magenta move down. What does red do? I kill purple. Okay, so that's gets the eighty. Do have a trade. That was good. That slowed at least slowed down red. Yeah. What are you gonna do, man? <laughs> Taste it. Yeah, I stole your capital, sir. That's right. That's right. I stole your capital. He doesn't know what to do. Okay. Does magenta set? I kind of want them to hit that eight cap. Backs off. But hitting that eight cap opens my line to killing them. They sit on five cards and take the eight cap. I can kill them. <laughs> or he can just let me hold a third capital. I think this fellow is having connection problem. And this time, stay disconnected. Okay, so my guess is that red has put up a block somewhere. Now, if it's here, here, or here, or here, or here, then I can't do what I want to do, which is roll all of this and pop the break. And that'll piss him off, and he moves very slowly, but he's still got a ton of troops on me. It might make more sense to just kill purple here. I think purple triggers a trade. I already have a trade. 
Do I want to? Killing Magenta is the better line of play. And that is 100% roll on capital, folks. Taste it. Taste it. I hope it tastes bad. Smell ya. Okay, we can take the purple kill here. Do we want to? The size of the block is. And where we open it. No blocks. No blocks. Just beat the shit out of red till we find the block. No blocks. Cap is 50. There's the block. Cool. Okay. And blocks. Okay, so I see the structure of defense that red has attempted to build. My saving grace here is that red is very, very slow. They have so many troops in there, though. Can they impact the rest of the board? Or is this now a winning position? I think winning this game is incredible. There it is. There's Red's majority stack. Do they feed me the purple kill? Accidentally. Take it for free. And then which way do you go? Oh, you're so fucking slow. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Gonna roll down. Take the eight cap, I think. Takes the eight cap. He has the cap run. He has the cap run. Doesn't get to Scotland? Or does he do it just right? Yes, he doesn't get to Scotland. Okay, small chance. No set. Oh, he just pissed away so many troops. No set for purple. Okay, can I kill purple? I have to try. I think that's my only line, right? We go we go whole hog for the purple kill. How big is that hog, folks? I don't have the troops. I would have failed that purple kill. I'm pretty sure. No set on four. No. No. He's got the cap run, ladies and gentlemen. No. He's got the cap run. He's got the cap run. But he goes for purple? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taste it. I hope it tastes bad. Oh man, I got you. <laughs> he doesn't even have the time to get it. Watch how he fucking pauses. <laughs> you failed! You had the win, sir! No, set, no set, no set. Ah, he sets in the pocket! Shit! <laughs> I set to the pocket! I can't believe I have no set here. I'm fucked. I am so fucked. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so, so fucked right now. Oh my goodness gracious me! <sighs> well, better than letting Red get four cards, I guess. Now we got a random ass bot running around. Slam one of my capitals. Would shock. Slam the red cap, please. Help me. <laughs> Hit the red cap. <coughs> oh.
Oh, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. You don't have you don't have the fucking speed, dude. He probably is a camera. But he's not lined up for it. That 150 can't hit my 24, my 34. He doesn't have the cap run yet. He's got a lot of troops though. Still, he's got a lot of troops. No, he can cap run. He can cap run here. Hits the 23 in Scotland. Splits properly, hits the 24 Netherlands, gets an okay roll on the 28. So here's how you win if you're red. You have to get a bit lucky. Okay, he goes positive. So far, the luck is good. Oh, he's wasting his time not taking caps, though. So that is bad. Yes. And we have an 88 stack. I mean, I'm not lucky yet. I'm, I have so much of this fucking board. But the bot's going to be a problem for me and not him, right? Bot worth killing? We go flat. We kill the bot we set. And at least we get to hold and leverage our speed advantage. I think kill bot set is the line, though. Because then at least it, it stops fucking breaking me. Bot set line into red. This is such a fucking dumb game. Give me a positive roll. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, no, not for you. <laughs> not for you. <sighs> 21 is in there? Get the fuck out. I hold four six. The troop count is probably equalizing now because I hold the whole board. He's gonna run run down off the ninety five and get bad rolls again. I finally got this guy, man. Whew, is that? Yes. I finally got this guy, man. Twenty eight v twenty four cap. It sucks to win because of only speed, right? That's so lame. Gentleman has his animations on. Good game, Grady Hirose. Turn off your camera animations, folks. Whew. Whoppa. Both caps have too many troops on them. Put it on the, in the one in the Netherlands. Where does that fortify to? Netherlands? Because I can leave the Netherlands cap blocked and I can work on a card block. Don't leave it off cap. It goes, yeah, he, le he leaves it off cap. Oops. Now I just clean the pocket.
That cap is fucking trash. We definitely don't put troops there. Give me a good game, though. Respect for not quitting. Sask gets the 120. 167 off cap stack. Moving slowly from the east. He lost nine on a three. <laughs> All right, we finally got him, folks. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's go roll it. Schmacka. No schmacka? Oh, no schmacka. If there was like a, a way to emote to this guy and be like, turn off your camera animation, sir, <clears throat> I would. Good game, man. A bit grindy grinding out a guy with uh a lot more troops than you but it's quicker than trying to card block yep troops on cap Smart. Okay, now we can work on a card block. Game, sir. Also, mad respect for not yielding. Best way you learn. All of these cap cards he takes. They never close. Right? I, I let I let his caps remain closed, then I can set up the block. And smack it. Stay out. That works too. Final position. Not cap super easy card block. It only touches two territories. He still has a cap run. Possibly. Probably not.
So what's going to happen here is he's going to not miss this fortify. He's going to retreat back to capital. And I block on one, two, three, and four positions. He does not get another card. Maybe he rolls a 24 or the 26. Ba -pa! Nope. 51. Okay, lose 91 on 51. Goes up. Switches to London. Switches to London. Hits the cap. Hits the cap. Okay, now that cap is locked. This card block works too. Or he misses the fortify. No more cards for you. No more cards for you. You are going to fucking die. Do I get the good game? Probably not. I'd be a little cheese if I was him. Kind of lost from technology. But I did leave him alone because I knew he was slow. Come see, come sa. There you have it, folks. Card block instituted. Puts troops out to break. I don't think you can afford it. Troops, oh, just let me cap run you. Cool. All right, that's a GG. Good game, man. There you have it. It's a tough battle. The old Beatman clutches the W. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you all enjoyed this video. Let's see the ranks. Uh, defeating three beginners. There you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found some of this fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. And if you are interested in getting better at the Game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube weeknight streams on twitch and for all of you on the path to world domination good games and good luck